Hi everyone, Brittany here, and today I'm going to be doing three hems to finish up this dress. It's got three layers. It's a sort of 50s style. It's got the full circle skirt with a nice layer of tulle underneath, some fun blue, so that was really cool to do. But I need to hem each layer, and they're all going to be in different ways. The first thing I did was to let the dress hang for a couple days, let it settle, and then we can really see what we're working with and what I need to bring up. So we've got the one layer, which is a lace, and then we have the layer of satin underneath, which I will be just doing a regular wide hem with a basting stitch to um, gather it up and lay it flat. So that's the one I'm mainly going to cover in this video. and. Then the lining is just going to be a regular serged finish and then turned up and sewn. I'm starting on the lace by uh, stitching a guide stitch that will go all the way around. I will then trim it very close to the stitching and use that as a guide to turn up and make my full hem. As you can see, I'm using that guide stitch to slightly pull on it and roll the rest of the fabric with my fingers so that it makes a nice narrow rolled hem. Now that the hem is completely sewn on the first layer of the lace, I gave it a nice press with a little bit of steam so it lays nice and flat. Um, you can see the hem is now level and it's easier for me to take the next layer, the satin, and um, use that to match the top layer. Once you've gone all the way around the hem, you want to really check your work and look underneath the dress, look to make sure that it's level. I mean, you'll be able to tell where it's uneven and needs to be pulled up or down, just so you get it nice and even. Now what I like to do is to take that pinned up hem and use your iron to create a nice light crease. It's also another way to really get that hem being straight and even. Like when you lay it on the ironing board you can tell the areas that it's a little bit off and you can use it to make a nice straight uh, hemline. I then go in with my serger and I trim it all off the excess there and it just works out perfectly because my presser foot is exactly half an inch so it makes a nice even um, hem to turn up. And here I'm going to do the basting stitch for the entire hem, so go all the way around, make a nice loose stitch. Now because circle skirts get wider as they get longer, when you turn up for a hem it um, creates a lot of extra fullness. So that's what that basting stitch is for. You take a dull pin and you pull up that basting thread and you use your iron with some steam. Just a little steam if your fabric can handle it. Um, it shrinks out that extra there and makes it nice and flat. Now what I like to do is do a blind catch stitch into the inside of the hem there. So this is the close up of that. Um, you can also just do a plain straight stitch if you're not into spending a lot of time finishing the hem. But I like to see no thread on the outside of the fabric. Um, it's just a much nicer, cleaner finish. 
So what comes next, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call <laughs> Netflix and Stitch. <laughs> this takes a very long time. And here you have the final product. The last layer of lining was done the exact same way as the satin, just with that straight stitch with the machine at the end. It turned out very lovely, it's got some nice movement, and I think she'll have a good time on the dance floor at her wedding. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe and I will catch you guys next time.